We got Taz Taylor, man. Internet money. It's Joey Franchise here. Oh, God. Let me just say, dog, I just came from Puerto Rico. And Before the Storm was legit the soundtrack for that entire weekend that I was there. So thank you for that. Appreciate it, man. That means a lot. You have no idea. Made some amazing memories uh, to a lot of songs off that album. For real. I love love it. My my girl loves Lemonade, by the way. Like, like I, I was... I never really grasped like the entire vibe until she played it on repeat as we were, she was like cleaning the house one day and I'm walking in and I'm just like, why, like, this sounds familiar. I know I've heard this song, but she's like, yes, yeah, it's internet money, Don Tolliver, Nav, and Gunna. And I'm just like, yo, why did I, why have I never banged this like <laughs> as much as I should be right now? And yeah. it's legit my favorite song. I'm happy we're playing it on the radio and salute to you for going platinum, bro. Thank you, man. It means a lot, for real, man. You know, like you said, Florida love. We in the building. For sure, man. It's been a and man. It's been a lot going on since uh, we last connected uh, when we was over in a uh, bar with uh, Tali yeah, yeah. Yahweh and them. So right. yeah, 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 I remember. That's a that's a fact. So tell me, how how hard was it making this album, man? Because I isn't popping right now uh, together and on these records. Uh, was it a tough, you know, situation to kind of get them? you know, to send verses in or in the studio, what have you? Um, nah, because Corona, everybody's like willing to work right now. You know what I mean? Cause they're not touring. There's not a lot of whole lot else going on. So it's just a lot of like people trying to be productive and have stuff open for whenever Corona opens up. You know what I mean? People have stuff to go perform and play. So a lot of people are just open and re- willing to work and, and, and willing to like down to collaborate, whatever it is that I need. You know what I mean? No doubt. And you know, you having a musical background, um, actually, you know, are th- these guitar riffs on Lemonade, is that you? Nah, it's not me playing guitar. It's, it's my producer, Alec Wigdaw. Okay. But I wrote Lemonade with Jazzy and Johnny Yukon too, 2017. Don did his version of it in 2018. Found out about it in 2020. And then we went and reproduced it. And I had my boy, Alec Wigdaw, play guitar on it, do the whole thing. But yeah, man, classic vibes. Some real, like, red hot chili pepper type guitar vibes. Like, it's a, it's a good vibe for sure. You know, very well executed, my guy. And also, like, Don Tolliver has an infectiously amazing voice already. And I just felt like y'all added, I don't know, what y'all sprinkled in that record that just makes it hit, like, really hit the heart. Yeah, man, it's, honestly, it's just a formula, man. It's a good record. It's a good good, uh, chord progression. It's up-tempo. People can dance to it. It has, like, the hit moments for, like, TikToks and everything like that, like going viral and trending. So it's just like an overall good record. It gets catchy, stuck in your head. Be- one of the best hooks of the year. And now, was it, did you guys get the verse? Did you originally have Roddy Rich in mind before the remix had came out? Or was that something that Roddy's like, yo, this, I need to get on this. Like, can y'all can yeah. make some room for me? I wanted Roddy to be on the original, but I just couldn't get a hold of him at the time. Like, I don't know if he was just like taking a vacation or whatever. But at the time I needed out, I couldn't get it done. And whenever they said, yo, you could do a remix if you want to do a remix, I was like, you know what, I, I will do a remix. So I was like, um, I want to put Roddy on it. So I reached out to Roddy. Uh, he responds like, man, I'm in, I'm in Mexico, like just vibing, doing whatever, working. Uh, this is like my favorite song out here right now. So he's like, I'd love to do it. Uh, he came back to LA. We got in the studio the next night. He cut it. And, uh, you know, here we are. That's cool. And, you know, and you gave Don Tolliver, you let, you let him get some on that remix too, that, which was really dope. Yeah. Um, another another record though that that stood out too to me was uh was blast off uh with trippy and juice yeah. um t- tell me what it's like was there getting that juice verse was that a previous one that you know y'all had in the can somewhere how, how did that come about yeah so i was kind of like like whenever i did my label deal with 10k that's where trippy is uh i did my my label venture there um i kind of got close with trippy over that time and whenever i put out the somebody record with tekka and uh a boogie like people are like yo when you drop an album reality like i ain't, i wasn't even out most i wasn't even like taking records or trying to keep records and um trippy gave me that record uh i think like four days before juice passed or something and like i was working on a version to send to like juice's camp and everything because uh him and juice did that record but the beat got sold or something happened originally so he's like yo if you want to reproduce this or whatever you can have it and i was just like all right better I, I, I did it so um we went and reproduced it, everything, and then that happened. So it just was on ice for a while. And then, you know, I mean, Juice's team, so shout out Bibby and everybody. And they were just, like, really receptive to the record and really cool with it. And they just understood how much it meant to us. Like, it's kind of like closing the chapter on, like, a book. You know what I mean? Like, 
it just means a lot. I know it means a lot to DT. It, it means a lot to Nick. And just like for us to kind of like tell the story of Juice and Anna Money, like on our album and doing that whenever like we gave him Lucid Dreams and all the girls right. the same. And these records, like uh, it's like beautiful in a way. You know what I mean? It means a lot to all of them. No, it was definitely a, a great tribute, man. And y'all definitely did right by him on that record. Um, now, now too, with the album, um, now you say you weren't, you weren't even in album mode. Like this wasn't, when did it become a, a thing where, you know, then we, you know, we got enough stuff to put out and how do you, uh, how do you pick the records? Man. You got to put out so much good stuff. Yeah, yeah, it was June. So June this year, right? And I was just like, man, I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little influenced, like with a little bit of <laughs> drinking weed, whatever, smoking drink, whatever. It'd be like that. that. It'd be like <laughs> that. And then I was just like, you know what? why haven't we put out an album like what is this so i literally the next day i reached out to my my like uh my publisher i was like yo like i'm doing an album so uh if there's any songs that i've done over time that you remember that you like you really like the hooks whatever let's start on them he's like what about lemonade i'm like yeah what about lemonade he's like you know don cut it right i'm like nah i didn't know and he sent me the don version that's like two years old and i was like well give me the acapella and then i took the acapella with just don and we just remade it you know what i mean and then from that moment whenever we played the guitar with Don's acapella going and you just hear the guitar going, that's why yeah. I'm like, man, like it's album time. Like we're here, like this is the song, this is the one, you know what I mean? So Lemonade just set it off. It was like, yeah, we, we like, set it we off. This. Yep. And then, then the momentum from Lemonade, I'm like, hey man, I feel invincible right now. Like the first song I made from my album, this song's a hit. So I was like, let's keep going. Like, let's go get Blast Off. Let's go get whatever. And we just started putting plays together and they just started coming in. And that's cool, man. And the dope thing about the album, and I feel like, you know, the fact that it's getting the notoriety that it deserves and, you know, with the internet money being as big as it is right now and definitely holding it down as far as like the new, how do you say, like the super, super producer group. Yeah. Um, it, it was dope for you to showcase a lot of that new talent that, you know, is definitely on the rise and got a wave going on right now. You got, you know, freshman uh, 24K Golden. You got Ian Dior, who I'm a big fan of. Uh, the Kid yeah. Leroy, who I'm also a fan of. Uh, even how the, the, the even the way you set the tone in the beginning with Ty Fontaine, like yeah. you know, what what was the process? I like y'all used you kept it within this generation. Um, I think we just wanted to mix it up and do half and half. Like artists that really inspired us and was really a part of the thing, like Juice and all that. And then you know you have Ian, which is a part of our story. Like you know we 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 brought and signed Ian out of Corpus Christi, Texas, built him up, do all that. Um, and Golden, like, you know, like, we, we've been around Golden for a while whenever he was, like, you know, just a songwriter. And, like, obviously still an artist, like, doing that. But he, like, kind of, like, started off in L.A. as a songwriter. So uh, we've just been around with him for a long time. I've been working with him. And it's just good to see, you know, them obviously go off and go do their own things and see them succeed. But uh, I think it's just a good time to be affiliated with Internet Money right now. You know what I mean? Like, everything we kind of get, get close to goes up. It's just like a, a good luck charm thing, man. That asked, how do you keep the how do you keep the good beats to yourself? I remember Kanye used to do a rap where he's like, "Why did Kanye keep all the good beats to himself?" Does Internet keep the good beats to themselves? I know you guys worked on uh, NBA Young Boys' uh, recent project as well as many others. Um, how do you you know dictate which which beats goes where? Man, honestly, I have fifty three producers, and one just one producer makes like three to four hundred beats a month. So Jesus. As you can imagine, times that times what forty? I got like eleven artists, so it's like, you know, it, the 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 cream rises to the top, man. Like the good stuff is gonna come out, and it's gonna go wherever it is. Like I'm I'm fairly confident I have the best producers in the game and uh, the best mindset in the game. Like I could get in and craft a record out of anything. So uh, it's not like people are making beats. I'm like, oh, we need to save this. Like we gotta get someone on this. It's just like we'll do sessions with artists and we'll play them. 400 beats and they'll pick one. We're like, all right, bet, let's go off this vibe. This is the one, you know what I mean? And that'll be the time they set the tone and I just, we match it from there. Now with Lemonade being, you know, popping and platinum and all that right now. Um, I mean, uh, it, I mean, obviously the phone's ringing. Everybody wants a, a record from you guys. Um, is there anybody in specific that you, I know you can't let too much out the bag, but is there anybody in specific that you look forward to working with? Uh, Kanye uh Travis Scott you know like we did a lot of work with Cactus on the uh Don Tyler being on the song that like, we we worked closely with Sycamore and all them boys um Post Malone uh and Drake obviously like I'm just trying to go big this next album like as I said you've seen the half and half yeah. okay well, I, I kind of gave the artists that we like a spotlight this next one's gonna be more so like us just on, in our bag like all right bet we're gonna put these songs together and we're gonna do every song like how we did Lemonade you know what I mean it's not going to be like, yo, let's give this kid a look. It's going to be like, yo, let's just go make a hit. 
let's do 17 hits. Let's do 20 hits. Why not? You know what I mean? That ass. Um, and you, you mentioned Drake. I know you guys worked on uh, Blue Tent for Scorpion. Is uh, Can we expect something from y'all on the Certified Lover Boy? <laughs> I don't – honestly, bro, we didn't even know we were on Scorpion. Like, everything – Did ass? Nah, we had no idea. So, like, everything that happens is just, like, really – held under wraps, you know what I mean? And if it comes out and we're on there, like through a loop or sample or whatever, hey, that'd be amazing. But uh, as of right now, I haven't heard of four on there and I, I don't know. <laughs> we're just going to be all, we're all going to be surprised. Yeah, we're surprised. <laughs> every day something else happens, man. It's just a simulation <laughs> at this point. That is dope. I mean, that, that's crazy. I mean, the, the, the way you guys work is insane, man. Stuff just be landing anywhere at this point. And we just take um, make the most of it, man, for sure. Just as long as the check clear, we straight. <laughs> as long as it's clear, you know what I mean? As long as it's clear. Legit. So uh, lastly, how, how much records are left over? Is there actually, is there enough records left over from this previous album that can go on a whole another one? Yeah, of course. Yeah, there was, there was a bunch of records that were left over because like uh, people were in the middle of their rollouts and stuff like that. So they didn't want like a big record dropping on our album the minute they're about to drop a whole album. <clears throat> just like those type of politics, you know what I mean? So we definitely have a bunch of records left over. I'm, I'm kind of giving a couple out to like some of the people that, you know, like fuck with me and inspire me, like just passing out records to big big uh, producers or DJs or whatever. But uh, yeah, man, just keeping a couple of them, putting a couple on the thing and then just starting from scratch, doing some new shit for the next album. Copy that, man. Can't wait for the next one, man. We're going to keep bumping that before the storm. Of course, Lemonade, we rocking that over here on the radio. So uh, man, just salute to you and everything you got going on. Keep putting on. Yeah, appreciate it, my boy Joey, man. Whenever we out there, when I'm back in town. Yo, hit me, bro. 